The Galapagos Islands and science have been related through a very close and special bond. A bond created by the arrival of Charles Darwin to this archipelago in 1835, which inspired the development of the theory of evolution based on natural selection. A bond that continues to this day. This relationship was reinforced more than six decades ago when renowned scientists and conservation experts joined forces to face the challenges affecting Galapagos. This paved the way for the creation of the Charles Darwin Foundation for the Galapagos Islands in 1959. Since then, we have been committed to the conservation of the archipelago, working hand in hand with our institutional partners to protect and preserve Galapagos. Today, the Galapagos is even more at risk. Human population and tourism are on the rise. We face a climate crisis. Invasive species are displacing unique plants and animals. And illegal fishing casts down on vulnerable marine species. To tackle these challenges, we work on more than 25 research projects. One of our main approaches is to investigate the distribution of invasive species, both on land and sea. We investigate control methods for the avian vampire fly, the main cause of death for land birds, such as the mangrove finch, which now has less than 100 individuals. We work to guide the ecological restoration of Scalacia forests, which have been reduced to less than 1% of their original distribution. Our priority is to protect the long-term health and well-being of the unique species of the Galapagos. That is why, since 1977, we have been monitoring the population of penguins, albatrosses and flightless cormorants to understand the fluctuations that occur in the face of the climate crisis. We study the movement and health of Galapagos giant tortoises and their relationship with human settlements. We analyze the migratory routes of sharks to determine the effectiveness of marine reserves in protecting them against industrial fishing. Over our many years of work, we have amassed a natural history collection of more than 100,000 specimens. During these last six decades, we have been part of the Galapagos community providing scientific knowledge to both big and small. We support the food system on the islands, providing information on the biological, social and economic features of artisanal fisheries and promoting sustainable agricultural practices. All our acquired knowledge is freely available so that the Galapagos may continue at the forefront of science as a global model that inspires others to effectively preserve our planet. Join us to understand, explore and share science for the future of Galapagos.